Say goodbye to boring, time-consuming work and hello to efficient and automated processes. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Office Scripts to transform the way you work with spreadsheets. So I have a worksheet here which needs to be formatted. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to bold the headers. After that, in column C, I want to format all the numbers into currency format. After that, I want to underline the second last row. And lastly, I want to autofit the column width. But there's a catch. I have to repeat the exact same process on 11 more worksheets. So how can I streamline the process so that I don't have to repeat the task 11 more times? That's where Office Scripts come to the rescue. Let me show you how we can use Office Scripts to automate this process for us. One thing worth noting about Office Scripts is that you can only record them while you're on the web version of Excel. So I've reverted all my actions here on the first spreadsheet and now I'm going to do these actions once again. But this time I'm going to record these actions so that Excel has it memorized and it can repeat these actions later on. And in order to record this, I'm going to go into the Automate tab. Then I'll hit Record Actions. So after this, Excel is going to start recording whatever I do. Then I can go ahead and bold my upper column. As you can see, as soon as I did that, the Recorded Actions script took note of it. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply dollar format to column C. Next, I'll apply the border. And last, I'll auto fit all the column widths. After I've done everything I needed to, I'll go ahead and I'll stop the recording. Now my script is saved as script 10, so I'll edit it and let's see how it looks like. Now this is how my code looks like. For those of you who understand VBA or Python, this might be a familiar language, but there are a few things we need to do to this in order to have this function loop through all of my spreadsheets. So let's see what we need to do. So the first thing we want to do is in the second line of code, we want to replace this line with another line. So this line is currently saying that we're targeting the active worksheet, which is the January worksheet. We want Excel to target through every worksheet. So the code we'll be using is as follows. This previous macro that I just pasted, it recognizes that we need to get each worksheet in this active workbook. But how can we get it to loop through each and every worksheet? So in order to do that, I'll be inserting another macro down below. And as you can see, this macro ends with a open bracket. So at the end of my code, I'll add the respective close bracket. So the next thing is that this macro that I added over here, this line of code is referring to sheet. And right now in our code, we don't have sheet. We have something called selected sheet. So we're going to replace our selected sheet with the word sheet. So I'll go ahead and I'll highlight selected sheet and I'll go into control H. Now I want to replace it with simply sheet. So I'll go ahead and I'll replace all. And that's it. Those were the only three steps that we needed to perform in order to make this happen. So let me go ahead and let me save the script. Let's go ahead and let's loop through the other worksheets. As you can see, there's still um, nothing has been done to them. So let's go ahead and let's go back into the automate tab and let's run this script and let's see if our script works. So I'll go into all scripts, into script 10 and I'll hit run. Okay, so the script has just ran. I'll get out of here once again. And now, for the moment of truth, I'll go into the other sheets and let's see if the actions have been performed. And there we go. Just like that, all 11 of the other sheets have been formatted the way I wanted to with just a click of a button. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.